We pretty much all grew up with dreams of athletic achievement until encountering our epiphany. Mine came in college. I was a pretty good baseball pitcher. And then the next preseason in comes Bruce, 6 foot 2 and 190, fastball mid 90s, curveball to make Sandy Koufax jealous. A splitter, a cutter, stuff I hadn't even heard of. The coach took me aside and suggested I spend more time going to class. Classwork also continues for the Bulls, though it's hardly an insult like the rest of the NBA to be chasing these Boston Celtics, who have the NBA's best record and sure look like the favorites to annoyingly hang yet another banner after their 129-112 win over the Bulls Thursday. Their whole starting five can shoot it, noticed Bulls center Nikola Vucevic, who had a career first half with 20 points, 22 for the game with a game-high 14 rebounds. They almost hit as many threes, 23, as we shot, 28, and also in the third quarter they took it to us and we didn't respond well. That was the game turner after the Bulls fell behind by 16 points in the first quarter, but then hung 39 points on a very good Celtics defensive team and actually led 62-59 at halftime. But then you got the sense the Celtics it was money time for Boston. The Celtics scored 10 straight points to begin the third quarter, and that wonderful momentum and reverberating United Center from the Bulls scoring on 12 of their last 14 possessions of the second quarter dissipated. Boston got back ahead by 13 points after three quarters, and a few minutes into the fourth the Bulls were trailing by 20. DeMar DeRozan was raging himself into a technical foul and even Boston's mad stork, Luke Cornett, taught me something with his dabbing celebration after his fifth dunk. It seemed to me he was calling timeout multiple times, but I learned it was a hip-hop thing. We all also learned Boston is pretty hip with this basketball stuff this season. We had been better this season, shooting threes, at times, but when they really get hot and are making shots, and in general we are not a great shooting team for threes like that, said Vucevic. Obviously that is a big difference. They made some tough ones, for sure, but they are a great team, probably the best team in the NBA right now. They play great basketball and they showed it tonight. They have two all-stars, Jason Tatum with 15 of his 25 points in that decisive third quarter and Jalen Brown with 21, and two other guys borderline all-stars, Derek White and Drew Holiday, two of the best two-way players in the league. White with a game-high 28 points. And, Chris stops. Porzingis has come on this year. There are things we could have done better, especially in the second half to give us a better chance, said Vucevic. But they played a great game in especially that third quarter and never really looked back. They really amped it up and we didn't respond, 